Hi guys, three weeks ago I uploaded a video where I replaced the bulb in my grandson's torch with three LEDs that I'd scavenged out of uh, something or other. That was the bulb that I replaced and it worked fine. But in the comments, Peter Carlyle suggested using a 1 watt white LED. So I ordered some on eBay and they've arrived. It's not too bad, that's three weeks from China. That's quite good going actually. Anyway, here's another torch which is very similar to the one that I modified. Actually it looks quite bright. Um, on this camera, but it's it's not particularly bright. If I take the bulb out and hold it down here. You can see it's oh, fingers are in the way. So there we go. That's how bright it is. Whereas if I Try one of these one watt LEDs. I mean, it's white anyway, which makes it seem brighter. But that looks at least as bright, if not brighter, than that bulb. So, what I'm going to do, following Peter's suggestion, is modify the old bulb, the one that's faulty, take the glass out, and then fit the 1 watt LED into the base so that we can fit it in exactly the same mounting as the original bulb. It will be a bit of luck as to whether we can get the glass bulb out. I have to unsolder the contacts and if we're lucky it will come out. If we're unlucky it will shatter in my hands. But we'll give it a try. Let's see what we can do. There is a very good chance that the glass will shatter, so you probably ought to be wearing gloves. Hopefully you can see something I can point with. That's the actual wire that goes up to the filament. It's now free in the middle there. Let's try and free that one off as well. I'm not getting much well, we're getting a bit of movement. That wasn't as successful as I'd hoped. I ended up having to gently crush round the edge there to break up the resin or whatever it was that was inside holding the bulb in place and that didn't work. I actually managed to break the bulb in the end which wasn't a problem but what was more annoying was I broke the black piece that goes in the bottom that takes the bottom contact and I was really hoping to keep that in one piece. I'll see if I can super glue that bit back together. Somebody's going to get his fingers stuck together. Mm -hmm. That looks reasonably okay.
might work. My plan is to solder a little bit of wire onto that tag and then solder it onto there. Because according to me that's the positive tag. That's what we want. I think a bit of hot glue is going to have to hold that in place. Just try and solder up the other leg. We have success. I think I'll just stick some hot glue in there to make sure it doesn't short itself out. Probably should have used two pack resin or something. Right, that's looking good. Put it back in there. So why is that not working? That had me totally confused for a while. There was actually a little bit of hot glue getting across the contact when I screwed it up tight. Cleared that hot glue out of the way, and there we are, a working torch. That took a lot longer than it should have done. Probably not worth the effort, but it does work. It's probably a simpler way of getting that LED in there. saw how I did it. Job done.